stunt employees, this is Dominic Daughtry, and I am here to show you something that is a huge time saver, uh, especially for project engineers. Uh, updating the DRDs is a major priority uh, uh, for our job description, and I am going to show you something in Bluebeam that uh, previously wasn't available in Adobe and is a huge time saver. And I love showing it to people uh, uh, because of the reaction, uh, you know, on how easy it is. So I've got a set of plans here, and these are my DRDs for my project. And we're going to pretend right now that, you know, I'm updating the DRDs because there has been an RFI that's come in regarding these three uh, uh, GL2 uh, windows. So right here, right here, and right here. So we have three instances, and this RFI, let's just make it up, RFI uh, 1225. And, you know, I want to, you know, previously what you would usually do, you go over here to the call-out box. You know, you'd, you'd put down a call-out box to draw attention to that area on the DRDs. You'd put it like this. You maybe move it like this, and you would have to, you know, put individual arrows Let's move this around here and you would have to do individual arrows to bring it back to that call out box you got this one right here go from here over to here and then you would have to group them all so you end up highlighting them all and then grouping them so it's one markup now you just saw how long that took. It's really cumbersome, especially for engineers that have to do this multiple times a day. Now, I'm going to show you right now uh, something that will save you a ton of time. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did uh, using this new trick. And we'll do the callout box here. And we will put the leader up here. And all you have to do is press shift when you're over this control point, And it gives you multiple leaders. And you can do as many leaders as you possibly need. I can put one over here and put one over here. You can see how quick that was. And then update it. RFI 12.25. Window change. And it's that simple. I guarantee everybody can use that little tip and you know tip and trick. And like I said, use the call out box. You just hover over with your cursor on this control point, press shift until you see it like this, and you could add as many as you want. Just keep going as many as you want. And you can move it around just like this, put it anywhere. Uh, it's convenient, super easy. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs>